I'm going to work out this first problem on the rational functions word problem set to kind of give an example of how I think through these types of problems, word problems in general, and also word problems that end up giving us rational functions that we have to solve. So let's just take a look at this first problem. It says it takes 36 minutes less time to travel 120 miles by car at night than by day because the lack of traffic allows the average speed at night to be 10 miles per hour faster than in the daytime. Find the average speed in the daytime. So I'm gonna get my problem journal here. The first thing I will do is title rational functions word problem. That's what we're doing here. And the first thing I like to do in problems like any kind of word problem really is just to figure out what it is that I'm looking for. And in this problem, I'm trying to find the average speed. I'm going to call that R for rate. And uh, that's the average speed during the day. And uh, the other thing I need to think about before I move on is what are the units of my answer going to be? And typically we report speed in miles per hour uh, for cars. And that's also that unit is here in our problem because we see that it's going 10 miles per hour faster during um, the nighttime compared to the day. So I'm just going to choose miles per hour as my unit. <clears throat> now, the next thing I want to think about is the relationship. The relationship between um, the thing I'm looking for, R in this case, the average speed during the day, and all the other things that are in this problem. And fundamentally, this is a rate, uh, a rate of speed problem. And so I use the rate of speed equation, R equals distance divided by time. And I'm going to think about that relationship in two different ways. I'm going to think about it um, in, in the context of this problem uh, during the day and also during the nighttime. And uh, so during the day, I know that the rate, which is the thing that I'm trying to find, is just equal to the distance, 120 miles, divided by however long it takes. And I don't know how long it takes uh, to do that trip. So really, I've written this um, equation here. It's really just a copy of this thing. But during the daytime, I know it's 120 miles here, but I don't know R or T. So I have two unknowns. And let me go over to my to the nighttime here and, and try to construct a relationship that also uses this rate equation, but using um, the information given to us in the problem. The first thing, I know that it's the same distance, so I can just put D right here. And then on the bottom, I wanna this I have to put how much time it takes to do this trip during the night right here. And what we're told in the problem is that it's uh, 36 minutes less time than it is during the day. So initially, I just want to do this, really, like t minus 36 minutes. The problem there is that I've already chosen to do my problem in miles per hour. So all of my times have got to be in hours. So I'm going to take that 36 minutes and just do a little conversion problem. I know that one hour is 60 minutes, so I, I set up that ratio over here. And I can cancel out the minutes. And when I do the math here, I'm left with 36 sixtieths of an hour. And I can reduce that by 12 and it just down to three fifths. And so it's three fifths of an hour. So really the time that it takes to do this 120 mile trip at night is three fifths of an hour less time than I took during the day. The, the, the last thing they tell us in this, uh, or the last piece of information we need to use from the problem is that at nighttime, we're going 10 miles per hour faster. So on the left side of this equation, I just put my, the same as the rate during the day, only 10 miles per hour faster. So now I have two equations and two unknowns, R and T. Remember, D is 120 miles per hour. So I'd like to eliminate the T because in this problem, I'm, I'm actually looking for R. That's, that's the thing I'm trying to find. So I don't want to eliminate that from my equation. 
So instead, let me take this equation from the daytime and just solve it for t. And then I can take the result over here, d divided by r, and plug it in right there for that t. So I get r plus 10 equals d divided by d over r, d over r minus 3 fifths. So that is a pretty formidable um, rational equation, uh, but we can use the techniques that we've been practicing uh, this semester so far to solve this equation, and we're going to do that in part two of the video.